Christmas just like the ones I used to. Hello and welcome to the stream. Today's pre-stream chatter was a terrible rendition of Dreaming of a White Christmas, except they replaced the word dreaming with streaming, because I am that awesome. <coughs> I did cover that cough, so you're safe. The next one I will not cover, so, you know, take, take a risk. Okay, um... Sorry, I just got an email that I... Um, okay. Uh, now I'm totally lost. Okay, yes. Uh, we actually have a plan for today, which is, uh, which is interesting. Um, we're going to look at a question from astronomy.stackexchange. And I might have to actually... Oh, I don't want to log in. Hang on. It's one of the more recent questions. Um... Someone asked about a Terminator, um, except it might be somewhere else. So, once again, we, we are, we're kind of spacing it. And it might be in space.stackexchange. Ah! Fudgy. Okay. Um, so, without looking into this, I may just... This, is, this should be fun. Uh, so, I've now hit sort of like a question zero. Um, by the way, you'll notice once again, there's no way to get to newest questions unless you actually start there. Uh, again, a little bit of fuckery from our enemies at Stack Exchange. Um, okay. Well, crap. I guess I'm going to have to log in. I hope to hell... That just seems kind of weird. Oh, come on! You sons of whores! Please stand by. Okay. Uh, let me find my password. Ooh. Uh oh. Something terrible has happened. I don't think that is my login. Okay, stand by, stand by. We have multiple issues. Um, okay, this is not cool. How the hell do I get in? I don't remember how I get in anymore. Um, let, me, let me check some place where I am logged in, hopefully, and see what's going on. So as, as always, this time we have a delay before we even start the stream. Uh, let me see who the hell I am. Who am I? I don't even know anymore, man. Uh, okay, so I'm Barry Carter. That part's groovy. Except I don't think it's gonna accept that because that's not an email address. Nope, it is not an email address. Okay. So, kind of sucking this already. Um, <sighs> All right. Stand by. Please stand by. Let me see if I have a password for stack over... I know you can't see what I'm doing. Just chill. Um, okay. Let's see if it's somewhere else where it's not supposed to be. Which is where most things are, by the way. Um, where they're not supposed to be. Um... Okay. Um, waiting? Okay. Crap. All right, well, according to this, it is this, and the password is that. If that works, I'll be very surprised. Yeah. Is it? No shit. Okay, this is this is really really bad in the sense that we have um, that we have. 
Okay, 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 hang on. We might, we might be doing this. So I might just be using my Gmail address, which I probably shouldn't do. And this password, which I probably shouldn't be using. Yep, that's it. Okay, so I'm doing these things terrible, doing terrible things. Now let's see if we can find the question I'm looking for. Yeah, I did mark it as a favorite very recently. Uh, so we will do it by, uh, come on, by activity, I guess. There we go. Um, so let's go ahead and copy this URL down before we forget it. Um, so now we're going to see if this meets the checklist of things that I like to work on. And you might say, hey, you don't have a checklist of things to work on, of things that you check before you work on something. So we're going to make a checklist. So number one, is this problem easy to solve? Um, yeah. It doesn't seem, it seems like this is something C-Spice would do pretty well. Uh, I don't see any main pro major problems in doing it. Um, and C-Spice has the functions to do it. So step one, easy to do? Yes. The second question we ask is, because it's so easy to do, can we generalize it to make it more challenging to do? Well, here we're talking about the location of the Terminator on Mars, a planet, surface at a given time. Well, obviously we can extend that to any planet, or in fact any celestial body, um, at any time. So, can be extended? Yes. Now, the third question we have to ask ourselves is, can we combine this with an other project in a way to make it so difficult that we don't end up either working on the other project or solving the question? And the answer to that's going to be yes, because um, what I've wanted to do for some time is create an API. Uh, can we fuck it over? Yes. I wanted to create an API where people could make requests and I would run them in Spice. Now there are existing sites where you can run some Spice functions, but I don't think there is a general um, place to run Spice functions, and honestly, I, I won't, won't create quite that either. However, I don't think there's a place where you can go and ask, where is the terminator of a given, um, for a given planet at a given time? I mean, probably for Earth there is one, because you know, we're sort of, Pomodoro time, I'm skipping it because it's the first time. Um, so for the Earth, there probably is one because we, we're sort of, we kind of want to know where our, where our sun is setting and rising. In fact, I mean, graphically, even I have one. Um, oh, come on. This will take another few hours to find. So this will, this will burn some time as me trying to show an example. Um, is this it? Um, so this is our current, uh, ter this big fat line here is our current terminator, except it's not really because it turns out uh, the sun doesn't set where its geometric position is zero degrees. Uh, it's actually negative 50 minutes of arc because it combines um, my phone BP Cami, uh, because it combines both, um, it combines both refraction and the diameter, uh, the radius of the sun. So really this, this points a little bit further here. I don't know on this map how wide that would be. It might be that this covers it. But once you get in, um, the lines of width doesn't change. So this is actually technically not correct. Um, or I guess actually it's on this side because it's actually when it looks like it's, you know, the sun's more than 90 degrees away from the zenith, it's still in the process of setting. So actually I meant it's over here. But whatever, there, this sort of stuff is being done for the Earth all the time. So, um, so that, that's, that's, that's not a big deal, but for the other planets, it probably is. So here's how we've messed the problem up to make it unsolvable. First, we're going to solve the problem as is, probably not difficult. And we could actually test with Stellarium because, uh, Stellarium will actually show us, uh, you know, we, we can go to different points on Mars. Mars does have a defined global system, North Pole. Uh, and Terminator, both, most planets do. It's ar the obviously the prime meridian of a planet is pretty much artificial. Though I think they f they decided at some point it was going to be the widest part of the ellipse. They made some decision to make it easier to define a, a uh, you know a, a prime meridian in the future. But the existing planets that have it, I think I don't know if it's arbitrary, but it is somehow we decided to create that. So um, let's see if we can find the. So let's do this part first. Well, we'll actually 
pretend we're doing this part first, stop when it's not complete, and then jump over to doing some API stuff, because I want to create an API where people can look this up. Um, now, I think at one point I actually looked at APIs. Let me do a quick search from um, um, hang on. From, uh, from the other machine. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've talked about doing an, uh, an API. Well, okay, there's BC QBitTorrent API. No idea what the hell that is. Um, I might not have done this, or I might have called it something that's so difficult that I no longer understand, um, that's so weird that I no longer know how to get to it. Because I'm, cause I'm pretty awesome that way. Um, okay. Now I'm going to once again, uh, totally diverse, and uh, see what, I'm pretty sure the QBitTorrent API is... Hello, hello, Milkister Moo, my god! Oh my god. No, no, you're fine. Shush, don't mention that. Damn it. You're fine. You're fine. I love you. Um, wow. Someone actually showed up when the stream starts. That's amazing. I, I, I don't believe it. It's not true. You know, it's possible that I'm in some sort of, you know, coronavirus-induced coma, and I'm just imagining all this. Um, although, that's got to be going, you know, based on the way I feel, that's got to be going on for, like, years now. Um, okay, yes, we love you, Milkstromu. Welcome to the stream. Uh, today, if you weren't here earlier, or I just like repeating stuff, uh, we're going to try to find the Terminator, the, the line where the sun sets, um, for any planet at any time. But then, the exciting part, which is not the exciting part, is we're going to try to create an API where people can request it online, because sea spice is something that is not, um, the complete, you know, you can't really run it online because... Whoever needs to, whoever wants to create a C spice runnable program online, uh, has to uh, has to basically create uh, has to basically have C spice running on their machine, and so I don't think anyone's done that. So this is something that is both um, both new and useless. So this is it does meet the um, it does meet the criteria here for things I want to do. I mean, if, if it was just new and helpful, I couldn't do it. But it's new and it's useless to humanity. I'm all, I'm on top of it. So let's go ahead and do a. Um, let's see what I want to call it. BC. Let me see if I already have something that's called it because I always worry that I'm rewriting code. Um, I don't think I do in this case. Oh, hang on. Okay. So let's see what we have here. We do not. Okay. So we're just going to call this one BC Terminator, which I realize will make up jokes about. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, but hey, what you gonna do? And then I always forget how I start my C programs, so I'll do this. Uh, I'm sure I'll, I'll, I, I basically do that include for um, I, these includes, this include, and I always put in the comment that I know I'm doing it wrong. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and, as always, write this into the um, well, let's go ahead and write a main function because we need that. I'll just write the code in, you know, for Earth into the main, and then we'll make it into a into a function, which is what we really want for us. Uh, so the way to do this for Earth, um, yeah, I have no idea. No, we can. Add, there's actually a function that will tell you the azimuth and altitude, I think, of a given object given a position on a a thingy. Um, and I think we can actually get it from here somewhere. Uh, I know one of the uh, the issues here is um, one of the issues here is what's called the surface normal, because the uh, the Earth is an ellipse. Uh, you can't assume. Uh, I mean, you can assume that it's it's an uh, it's a sphere, but that leads to inconsistencies. And if we're going to use a tool as powerful as um, as sea spice, we might as well go ahead and uh, go ahead and um, uh, mutter incoherently. Now we might as well go ahead and use our um, use the you know use our more accurate uh, use the more accurate formulas because they do have them. Okay, so now which one of these do I want to sort of base go off of? Uh, let's do this one. Okay, so this is the, the surface normal. 
think it's just what is it called? Surf. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we are going to try to obviously uh, generalize this a little bit. So let's see if we can do. Um, because in general, we won't know the numbers right off the top of our head, so we want to do um, this. Um, so basically cut and paste er as much as possible. Okay. Um, of the given object. And I think I don't like this function because it uses a... Um, uh, it uses a string... There, I think I want to I want to use bod VCD, um, but let's find out. Yeah, okay, I do want to do that. Um, okay. Oh, that was weird. Oh, I, I guess because this is so spice tied in, I'll go ahead and use. Um, I'm going to just call this rad, so we don't. Um, and you know what? Let's actually say okay. And then we can say to do get these from args. But for right now, just to make it as generic as possible, we will call this planet. Okay. And then we now we do something fairly pointless. Um, I mean, the whole thing is pointless. So let let me not. Let me not discourage you into thinking everything here is pointless. Um, we we sort of make sure we're doing okay here. Print f, rad i, percent f percent f percent f. I don't know a better way of doing this. Oh, and I guess we need to have dim is dimension also. Dimension's actually a spice it. Uh, it it's going to return the, the number three basically, because there are three rad i to return. It's only useful when you don't know how many components are being returned. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this, and make sure all our compilers and stuff are still working, because I believe in Voodoo. I think things can change for no reason. Uh, so let's do this. Da 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 da. da. Um, I don't even know if that ran. I don't. I didn't actually check. To see. Okay, it did not then. So let's take a look to see what's going on here. I need to do that. Make less is fine. Term. Uh, error, invalid preprocessing. Ooh, did I f this up? Yes, I forget how to do comments in C. Let's do that. That's not too bad though. Um, passing arg one of board makes pointer from integer. Hmm. So I'm probably using... Oh, did I say bod verd? I, I, I changed everything except the actual function. It's bod vcd. All right, let's watch this fail again. Remember, failure is good for you. In fact, never... Oh, crap, it succeeded. Okay. Um, oh, yes, it would be nice if we actually included some kernels so that we could do something with it. Always, always, always useful. Um... I mean, literally any C program is going to have this, uh, except this one. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's furnish C, and I'm all hyped up about my um, my new max kernel that I've created that I like to put in, um, which has a few more entities than the um, the standard kernel that I use. So we will. Do I have to put it like the full path, or what do I what do, I do here? I'm bet. Whoa, I'm surprised that works. Okay, well, if we need the full path later, we'll do it. Um, okay, so now let's see if that works. So make. Yeah. I think I that I'm not sure if that. And there you are, the radii of our beautiful planet. Okay. Um, so the next... Wait, do I even need the radii? I think I do for surface normal, but... Okay, and just to mess with things, 
We're going to give the latitude and longitude in degrees because I think ultimately, um, um, ultimately we're going to try to make this a user-friendly function. I think most people tend to think in, I don't know why the hell I just said that. That is not, that is not an input to this program. What the hell am I doing? Um, so the other input to this program would be time. Um, and so what time should we use? What time is, this is it. This is the exact second right now is the time. Okay. And it's really not going to be an issue because fractional seconds aren't going to make much of a difference. But I think just to make uh, C-Spice happy, uh, time usually gets passed as a, uh, as a, uh, as a double. And especially if I'm going to do Unix to ETV, I'm going to convert Unix time to ephemeris time, which is what the only thing uh, C Spice knows how to use. Okay. So, what are we going to do next? Um, we're going to need a function that computes the, um, the height of the sun, or actually we could get away with using the distance of the sun from the zenith. Uh, plus its angular radius, and then plus, the problem here is Earth definitely has refraction. We have refraction of about 34 minutes at the horizon, uh, but unfortunately, other, other planets have different refractions. So I'll put refraction, um, and we might make that in, op oh, and that's good, yeah. Another thing I'm trying to learn, so we're making this even more complicated now, is I've wanted to learn how to use get ops, which is how to use options in C. I've sort of done it, but um, uh, okay. So, so that would be kind of exciting, is if we could uh, use options in C as well, just to make things a little bit worse. Um, get ops for options in C. So that so that that'll mess it up a little bit more, and so that way we might be able to make refraction an option for Earth. Um, <coughs> um, but for everything else, I don't think I want to compute. I don't think there is actually a good refraction table for other objects. I mean, for airless bodies, there's no refraction. Um, Mars, there's very, I read up on it yesterday, there's very little refraction because it's almost airless, but not quite. For Venus, I'm guessing you can't even see the damn sky through all those clouds. Uh, Mercury uh, has no atmosphere, so zero refraction. But I think I think we'll we'll keep this in here only because Earth, people might want to do this for Earth, and for Earth we really want to draw a line that is sunrise sunset, not just um, uh, not just uh, you know not just uh, where the geometric sunrise sunset is. Okay, so now we need to figure out um, a function that, given latitude, longitude, and this time, and I think we're gonna loop through latitude or longitude. So uh, we kind of want it to only take long. Well, we'll, we'll figure this out. We, the thing we need to know is though, which function does this. And I think this one does not. So, oh, hang on, maybe it does. Oh, wow, I think this is actually, um, this is actually the one I want. Awesome, okay. Um, okay, 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 what does it do it here? Print f. Well, this is just the print f. Oh, so I have a function called altitude. Do I actually have that function like inside of? Uh, is that in BC lib h? I I don't. I never know. Oh. Oh. Um. Bloody hell. Okay. That's so damn cool. Turn the azimuth and altitude of an object with given time as blah 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 from Earth. Um, that could be very easily changed, I think. Um, uh, okay, so we are using latitude, topo lat and topo lon. Did I copy this code from someone? Because I don't use the variables that are that good. Um, no, I think I actually did write this. I just don't remember writing it. Okay. Okay, so there is one that actually just gives you the altitude, um, but it basically calls the other one and <laughs> returns one of its values. Uh, let's see. 
Ta -ta -ta -ta. Uh, and I think the only problem is this is going to be married to the Earth. So, not not a big deal. But we need to we need a function that is not married to the Earth. Uh, target et. So what do I do here? What's the magic here that I do? Oh crap! Hang on. So I've got a lot of. I should probably look at some of these functions. They seem cool. Um, planet to string. Okay, that's not interesting. Min and max are just eh. year to et. Unix DT, uh, these are boring. Uh, earth vector, earth angle, earth max angle, sun minimum angle. Ah, but I think it's on earth still. Um, is this just the altitude? It is just the elevation. So this is the one we can actually use, the one we can modify, uh, because it Computing the altitude is actually a lot easier than computing the azimuth. And we don't need azimuth for what we're doing here. Okay, so this is the... Um, I'm going to double check this, but this is the this is the way you get position based on latitude and longitude. Um, this is how you get the position on the surface uh, given latitude and longitude uh, given... Uh, given the rate, th this is actually elliptically correct. Uh, so let's take a look at this function real quick, which will hopefully, it won't clear things up, but I'd like to say it'll clear things up. So georec c, geodetic, geodetic are the coordinates we use on Earth. So, And you could argue that they're not 100% accurate because they're perpendicular to the ellipse and they're not, they don't go through the center of the Earth. I mean, they're not, they don't, they don't go from the center of the Earth through the through the reference ellipsoid, a little bit different. Okay, so what this gives us is convert geodetic coordinates to rectangular coordinates. Okay, there might be a better way of doing this. There might be a, just a direct azimuth function. I don't think there is, but uh, altitude, elevation. Okay. Let's see if we can find a function that actually tells you what an, an object looks like. Pomodoro time, back in two and two. And we are almost back. And we are back. Okay. So we were looking to see if... Okay, cylindrical to latitudinal. Derivative. 
Um, I don't think we will have what we need. I think um, actually GeoRet doesn't even show up under here, does it? Okay, Geo. Okay, so Geodetic is the coordinates we use. But let's see. Um, is target in field of view? Uh, but I think most of these functions are not going to. Uh, oh my God. Okay, hang on. I could be wrong. Uh, specified target body array intersects the space bounded by the field of view of a specified instrument. Damn, that's good. Uh, I don't see anything here about latitude. Oh, crap. Okay. So, uh, I don't really think there is such a function. There's not The function we're looking for does not exist, I believe. However, mm, actually it might. I mean, it depends on how they define observer. However, let's now do something really stupid. So this is local to me here at cspice doc. C okay, so let me. Um, so let's go over here, and let's really bitch with. Let's really mess with this piece of shit. I hope this will work. Okay. Um, so we have. Let's see if there's any directories here. Oh shit. Okay. That that's not really great. Um So doing I'm gonna re alias DERS to do what I want, which is something like uh, this is gonna be temporary of course. Um uh, something like this, but I'm pretty sure this won't work because um because there's I'm not escaping my characters properly. Mm. Or it just doesn't like me. Oh, or there are no directories here. Okay, that that kind of worked. Okay, so we have all the we have all the HTML uh, here. What is CSpice symbols? And once again, we're going off track. <whistles> nice. That's a list of all the um, functions they have. So we know that one of the functions we like has the word latitude in it. Uh, so the question is, are there other functions that have latitude that may give us what we want? Damn, there's a lot of them. Uh, there's too many of them. So I'm not happy. Um, that's cylindrical to latitude. This is... What is DPGRDR? Derivative of planet graphic. So I think we're going to need a little bit more than... Let's just see here. Latitude. I think we need one that has both longitude and... Nope, this one has both. Okay. So do we... Well, let's just see what GeoRec... Well, GeoRec doesn't really do what we want either. I guess we want one that has also the word observer in it? So, like, latitude of the observer? Okay, so... This is a list of ones that have latitude. From this list, back ticking. Let's find the word that have have the word observer. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, that's a little bit more manageable. Oh wow! So maybe I'm not using these functions as efficiently as I could. I could if I wanted to. Well, I will now. Just use this instead of I'm too lazy to even go back to uh, Firefox directly. We'll do this. This should bring up the page we want. Compute a set of points on the umbral or penumbral terminator of a specified target body where the target shape is. So this is exactly what we want. So the whole point I was going to, the whole uh, for loop I was going to do um, is unnecessary now. This literally does exactly what I want. So I'm kind of unhappy because it means less coding for me. Um, umbral or penumbral terminator. Okay, so I think we want, let's just see. Um, the umbral terminator is the boundary of the portion of this, the total shadow. Okay, that's so we. That's what we want. Um, yes, the unqualified word ter term term ter terminator refers to the umbral terminator. Oh uh, Jesus Christ! This is too easy. I'm unhappy. Let's see, let's get a quick example. Um, 
their examples unfortunately tend to be a little um yeah okay all right so i'm the, the curious thing i'm the, th the curious thing i am curious about now the thing i'm curious about is we coming up with some other uh results which sounded interesting i think that is a geometry finder that, let's see what the hell that is well, actually, hang on. This might actually do what we want. Well, it's kind of hard to... Uh, oh, I guess if we look for the word Terminator now, because um, that's like, literally what we're looking for, this, we might just have nailed that this is the only... No. No, 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 no. Um, okay. I mean, I, the problem is I think we found it too quickly. Premature, premature repping. Um, so this is what? This is uh, Ed Term. Uh, Ed Lim? That could be interesting. Uh, I definitely want to look at the third one, too. So what does this do? Find the limb of a triaxial ellipsoid as viewed from a specified point. I don't fully understand that. I think it, it's like a, the limb is like the one edge of it or something, but we don't need that. So, inedible, whatever the hell this is. Intersection of a tri... Oh, nice. Triaxial ellipsoid in a plane. Okay, but that's not what we need. So this is the one we need. Um, and I guess we probably don't even need all this bullshit here. Because um, uh, presumably this will get this will get where it needs. Okay, so let's go ahead and write our little function down here. Um, and let's call it properly. So the, the Terminator type we're looking for is umbral. Um, we might... See, the cool thing about finding the penumbral is we could find out where sunset is actually occurring. Um is in the process of occurring. Now, the other bad thing about this is it doesn't give us, like, civil twilight and stuff. Uh, but that's okay, because most planets aren't going to have that. Uh, the source... Um, okay, again, we're a little bit unhappy here that these are... I, I doubt there's a function that does exactly what this one does, but uses integers. But that's okay. We're fine. Name of the body acting as a light source. Um, let's see, okay. Ooh. The shape of the light source is always modeled as a sphere. Now, our, our light source is going to be the sun, so I think that's not going to be an issue for us. But not all, not all light sources are spheres. Target. Um, name of the target body, which is, for us, going to be... Hang on, is that, is that a string also? Yep. Never fear. We can deal with that. In fact, that'll be easier because that's what comes in from the um, that's what comes in from the uh, arg c arg v. We don't have to convert it to an integer, so that's going to be planet. Um, I don't know if that's right. Actually, something tells me that's not right, but we'll find out. Um, actually, it might be because we have maybe just const spice char. So let's be let's be consistent. Do what they're doing. So it is correct, obviously, because it's literally what. It's literally what they want. Spice double ET for right now, and obviously to do make ET real. So we're just using a dummy vet value right now. Um, okay, so this has to be a okay. Okay, so this we have to be careful here. This has to be. I A this has to be the IAU frame associated with the body. Um, so for us, that's just IAU Earth. Uh, let's see. Um, okay, so for us, this is just IAU Earth. We definitely need to. Um, we d there is a way to get the frame from a given body. Um, and then aberration correction, we always do CN plus S because it's the speed difference is pretty much null. It, it's just as fast and it's more accurate. 
as the name of the observing body. So, oh right, we just gave the observing fra- oh, hang on, now we're worried. Um, or a surface point on Earth. Um, okay, well. So the problem here is what the hell is this uh, target? Where are we observing the Terminator from? Well, I'm going to try saying that we're observing it from Earth and it is of Earth. Um, but I get the feeling that we're already moving into bad territory here. Um, and the number of points was just say for right now 100. We could probably do better than that. Okay, and then we need to feed it some variables to give us back. Uh, one of which is, we'll just use their names here. Whoa, hang on. What the hell are we sending in here? I guess that has to be big enough to hold the, the n value here. So let's do this by stubble. Uh, let's go ahead and declare this here to make life a little easier. All right, so we have a spice double is going to be this guy. It's going to get filled in. Um, it's going to be this guy as an array. And it's going to be this guy as an array of arrays because we are using 100 here. So this, if this compiles, I'll be surprised. If it runs, I will, I don't know, be very surprised. Um, and then since we're not really using any of the rest of this, we can do an exit zero here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do this. Well, uh, let's see. I was gonna say I'm trying to do this without a printf, but let's, let's be, let's printf something. There's, there's a whole bunch of them, and so I mean. This printf is going to be, um, well, let's print just, let's say, uh, da da da, obs pa, uh, that's probably not what I want. Term points, one, and the one's never going to be interesting, but we'll, we'll get it anyway. And then here. Okay. If this compiles, I'll be surprised. If it runs, I'll be really surprised. Um, passing argument one of bod dcd makes integer from pointer without, well, I probably don't care. Um, okay. I think maybe because we're not using any of this, uh, I'll just comment, well, you know what? I don't think we are going to use any of this. We'll just mass comment it out. All right. So now see if you can find errors in the portion of the program that I actually want to use. I bet you can. That's the best you can do. Although I guess technically if we're going to do that, we might as well use it. Okay. Now, now find some mistakes, please. Oh crap, it ran. Okay, so now let's see what happens if I try to run it. It'll break. Okay. The variable was not found. To compute delta ET, ET minus UTC could not be found in the kernel pool. That's just fucking weird. Um, hmm. I mean, the only thing I can think of is somehow I'm doing this, this com computation. Well, let's go put in zero, see what happens. 
I mean, that if that's the problem, we should be able to fix it. Okay. Uh, okay. So the problem here, I don't think, is the the time, but something else I'm doing here. Um, and I'm almost sure it's this function. I mean, I mean, this is going to obviously. Wow, it's going to take forever to do that. Wait, what? Oh, hang on. So maybe maybe this didn't actually make any more. Nope, 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 nope. That's what I mean. Oh, wait a minute, those are just warnings, though. Okay, so I really fucked something up before that actually happens. Um, it might actually be the Unix to ET function, which is really bizarre because that has always worked for me, unless I fuck something up. Um... So that's probably the function it's looking at. Something is not right. Let's see if getting rid of that and putting this back in works, which will be fucking weird. All right. Time undeclared first use of this function. So we'll just say time equals zero. Fix me, fix me. Okay. So let's see if this compiles. I don't know why it's taking so long to compile. That worries me. It takes like more than a fraction of a second to compile. Interesting. Not useful, but interesting. Okay. All right. So I probably need to figure out why the how the hell I broke my Unix to ET function. Um, because Delt ETC. Uh, Pomodoro time back in two and two. Okay, we're almost back. Um, okay, and we're back. Um, okay, so I think at some point we're gonna have to figure out why this broke. But that's not a high priority. Um, the only thing I can think of is max kernel. Um, for some reason, doesn't include the right TLS file, the uh, the leap second file. Um, and let me make that. That's a very, very simple file. It just tells you when leap seconds occurred, 
So I mean that is not a um that should not be causing any problems. Um but we'll figure that out later. That's not the that is one of the things that is too minor for even me to care about. Okay, so we're getting some results here that say um, at zero, you know, 1970, beginning of time, noon, whatever, um, that I'm in the wrong file. Still in the wrong file. Uh, okay. Uh, and so here we're saying umbral shadow, we're observing from the center of the Earth, or planet, which is Earth, um, the shadow falling on Earth, which I think is okay. And we're getting, um, one point we're getting is, is, um, this one. Um, now that's obviously rectangular coordinates. We need to convert these uh, rectangular coordinates into latitude and lat longitude. That's not hard. They do have functions for that. Um, so I was hoping to get. Um, excuse me. I was hoping to get. Um, uh, you know latitude and longitude directly, I do not think. Let me take a look at how they're doing some of this stuff. Um, um, vector from the center of the target body at Epoch to the observer, which should be zero in our case. Um, and blah blah cannot be mapped to okay. Files, particulars, examples. Oh yeah, examples is what we want. Um let's see, look da da da. They they try to make their examples really nice, but this is just bullshit pretty much. Um Okay, so observer is mm, okay, we want to see the terminator of the moon. Um in the moon's reference frame, not our reference frame. And so let's see. Uh, validate Terminator. So this is just a way of confirming what they had is correct. Terminator type, print out, print them out. Uh, ah, here it is. They do do a reclat conversion, uh, which is pretty much what we need to do. So this is going to be a terrible one because, well, let's actually. <coughs> Did cover that one, you're safe for now. <coughs> okay, now we need to... Um, I think I'm going to make 100 a parameter. Um, let's see... Okay... So here we can say endpoints, and then when we're looping, we can do the same thing. Um, so, and that'll be the three points in I. And do I have enough? Then I have an exit zero here, which is not really. Oh, I, it might be actually. Cause I've got to return something. So I think it just. Let me go ahead and BC get this, and then I'll get rid of the extra code. Um. Okay. Okay, what the hell was I doing? Why the hell did I stop? I don't know. Um, let's see. So this should give us a list of... Uh, oh, yeah, I need to return zero here. Same thing, but... Okay. 
Let's see if we can do a make here. It did work. That's shiny. So the question would be, if I wanted to look it up, what would the Terminator look like? So let's go ahead and convert this to our... Uh, oh, I was going to do BC get, and, and I did, so we're fine. Okay. Um, okay, so now we're going to convert these to... Um, uh, Reclat. I'm pretty sure I've used before, actually. Um, okay, so now we need a... Um, And just to be obnoxious, I will change the variable names to our longitudinal latitude. So we will say reclat C. The vector is term I, terminal point I. And we want the results in lat, uh, which will be in radians, which is actually the correct way to do things. So that's not a problem. But we want to convert it because uh, for our own evil purposes, uh, we want we want degrees. Okay. So, and I will go ahead and do the radius as well. So we're going to say R, which is just by itself. Um, one times, uh, so that's uh, in radian, so we want degrees per radian. And then lat. I did do that in the right order, didn't I? I did. <coughs> Some of these functions, unfortunately, uh, return the co-latitude, uh, which is 90 minus latitude, which is stupid, but this one, I think, returns the right thing. Okay. Um, okay. Now, let's see what happens. I'm going to even pretend the make goes fine. Um, so either the make failed, or I'm getting some really weird results. Uh, incompatible pointer, incompatible type for argument two. Oh, yeah. It would be really nice if we sent these in as addresses so that the routine could modify them. Okay, so that's the last time I assume it's going to work. Okay. So this seems reasonable in the sense that the Earth's radius varies slightly. Um... I probably should have labeled these fields, but for right now, I'm okay with not doing that. Um, okay, so now one way we could fix, we could look at this is by um, is by going, you know, Stellariumifying back when this happened. But I'm going to actually change it to the current time, um, which I should be able to calculate within a few seconds without a problem. Um, Assuming I know what the what now is, okay. Let's try this one more time, because I'm I'm worried about this now. Do I? Oh, let me try this without uh, putting a dot there, and then if I'll put a dot there because um, I think maybe it needs it as a floating point number. Okay. Could not be found in the rather. Okay, let's do this. See if that helps. If it does, it's just another why reason to hate C. Okay, no. Uh, so it's the the problem is occurring here. Uh, we say et to well Unix to et is what I'm doing. Um, All right, well, let's do this. Again, we're relying on uh, synchronous code, which is, which is correct for this. But really, uh, once you stop doing synchronous code, this becomes a bad debugging technique. And I also get the feeling I need to do a touch because my stupid program, my stupid pseudo make requires that the file that only assumes that doesn't stay check see if bclib is being, it's, it's just stupid. Okay, so here. Okay, the variable was not found in the kernel pool. Awesome. Now, 
I'm going to do something. Well, I'm always going to do something stupid, but now let's see if we can change this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm a terrible person. So if this works, it means I didn't furnish the kernel first. That's why I couldn't do the... Because this does require knowing what, what where the leap seconds are. So let's do that again, and if this works, I'll, I'll um, back it up to Git, and then I'll, f I'll go and fix it. There we go. There we go. Da, 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 da. Why does it jump so quickly from... Oh, I'm sorry. These are these are the latitudes here. Uh, and these are the longitudes. Okay. So let me go ahead and BC gitify this and then clean it up a little bit. Um, and also I need to fix BC lib.h because we don't need that bullshit in it anymore. Bullshit removed. Um, this did not break. Do not need that. Um... If we're going to get those from the arguments, that's fine, but we still need to furnish the kernel first. Um, make ET real. What? Okay. Um, oh, I think I meant for this, but we've already fixed that problem. Okay. Um... I think we can go to this bogus code here. Okay. So now, well, at this point we can almost give it for, uh, we can almost, yeah. The only thing that's wrong is that we can't use IAU Earth for anything other than Earth. However, I'm pretty sure, um, I'm pretty sure there's a way to get from a body to a to a frame ID reference for that body. All right, so now let's go crazy and put in the current time, which is not very different from the time that's already in there, but you know, whatever. Okay. Let's do a make here, blah, 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 and do this, hopefully that actually has something in it, okay, so now we should be able to look at my, assuming my map is correct, which of course it's probably not, I mean, because I made it, it sucks, by definition, actually it might be okay enough for what we're doing though, here we are, I'm gonna close the other tabs, good. Okay, so what we're seeing here, basically, assuming this is even remotely correct, um, is the Terminator, um, okay, from here, this is very, very close to um, zero longitude across, this is actually a really terrible time to test this. Um, okay, so, ooh. It's not cool. So this is at latitude, that's where I am, by the way, latitude 35. It's at 165 degrees. Uh, that's not the case. In fact, it's at a positive longitude there. Uh, so I'm either using the wrong, the weird thing is this moon terminator is there, so I'm kind of worried that we somehow got the moon's terminator. But let's go ahead and look at like uh, at a more southern latitude. Um, mm, okay. So it it's also at minus ten degrees at my my latitude here. Well, minus. 10 is still wrong. Um, is that the other side of the Terminator? Oh, that's the other side of the Terminator, right. Um, so I'm, I think I'm off by a, like a, because this is minus 10 compared to the, to the, uh, to the, the anti-prime meridian, the anti-meridian. 
Um, so if I added, yeah, maybe maybe that's the issue here. Um, but this is so. This is the other half of the Terminator. I mean, technically, there's not two halves of the Terminator. Um, it just sort of loops around, but um, let's see. So according to this, at minus 11 degrees, one part of the Terminator is at zero, uh, which is right about here. Hmm. So I'm, I think I'm off by 180. Or, oh, hang on. This might be correct. This might be zero right here. So... So I basically chose a really bad time, I think. Um, and unfortunately, this program, which sucks because I wrote it, does not let me do uh, terminators for different times. It's only for right now. And right now is very close to the spring equinox, which kind of sucks. So we're going to do... Uh, we're going to fire up our old friend Stellarium. And we're going to use this time... But first, let's see if we get reasonable results. Uh, so we don't expect to see anything at the North Pole from this. Um, uh, because th this is the middle of summer. But we do expect to see... Um, well, let's just see what the hell happens. Okay. Okay, this actually looks kind of good. Um... I mean, we are starting minus 66 is where the Terminator starts, which is correct because the uh, the southern hemisphere is uh, is constantly in darkness here, and it should end at 66 because above that it's constant light. So, oh, okay, good, yeah, it does. It, then it goes loops around, goes the other side. So the only thing we need to worry about now is whether these latitudes are correct, uh, roughly speaking. I mean, we're we're gonna. Alrighty, so let's Stellariumify. Let's do that over. Let's do that over here. Let's see if this is one of the ones that lets me run Stellarium. It is. Pomodoro, back in two and two. We are almost back, and we're back. Okay, so I'm pretty sure when we bring up the world map, it does not tell us where the Terminator is. Um, 
Actually, this might, well, this is overkill for the Earth, because there's a lot of ways to find the Earth's Terminator. It's probably not overkill for Mars, because um, I don't know if there's that many sites, if any sites, that display the Martian Terminator. So what we're going to do here, well, the first thing we have to do is, of course, fix the date. And to be whatever the hell I decided it was going to be. Um, June 20th at midnight Greenwich time. Okay. I am on Greenwich time here. Um... And we want zeros across the board. Um, this is being insanely precise and unnecessarily precise. So the next thing we do is we find Mr. Sun. Ooh, Mr. Sun is big. And since we're having some fun with it, why are there sun dogs here? Okay. Because we're having some fun with it, let's go ahead and first, let's do, first of all, let's change this back to a regular, um, regular view. Uh, I don't think we need an equatorial grid. We don't need constellation boundaries. We do need a horizon. Uh, no, no, we don't need cardinal points, but we do need this. Atmosphere, man, we need atmosphere. Um, am I on the Earth? I'd better be. So why are we reducing my air masses? Uh, because we're... Hello, 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 Natalo! I need sun to make my plant cuttings to grow roots. Fix that. Okay, no problem. Um, how close do you want the sun to get? Because... You know, if if it's too close, it'll just burn the planet to a crisp, and which might be a good thing. And I, I don't know, you know, um, but or you want me to push it a little bit closer to where it is now, because um, most people don't realize this, but sea spice can not only predict the positions of planets and stars, um, it can actually change them. It's like a little secret backdoor feature NASA has. You're not supposed to use it because you know we could destroy the universe, but you know. It's, it's not too bad. Okay, so we're now at the right time. We are now going to look at this. So this is the longitude and this is the latitude. So at latitude, I'll just start where the hell we are. It says the Terminator is at 165 degrees. And I'm almost sure that's incorrect. Oh, I'll miss you. Okay. So let's see. At 35 degrees, let's see where the where the Terminator is, and we can do that by doing this, this, and okay, wrong direction. We do this. Da 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 da. -da. Terminate, terminate me, terminate me. Okay, we probably should. Look at where the sun is. Okay, so it's about okay, and I do not like this horizon because it is not flat. But I think I think we could say. Oh, we can actually look at the uh, altitude too. <laughs> um. Okay, I mean, seventy-two-ish degrees, and what this says here is not seventy-two degrees. It says one sixty-five degrees. Um, well, now, of course, there's another point where this is going to happen, too. Let's see if the other side, it is 165 degrees. Um, so let's just go the other direction where the sun is. No, 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 don't do that. Uh, so go back to west. Oh, wow. Was it also setting at the east in the same place? That's wild. But let's go ahead and see what happens. So now we're going to go, e okay, let's go the other way. So we're going to go backwards to where the sun is rising, which is another, which is the terminator point. 
One thing we might have an issue with um, is we do need to figure out which side of the Terminator we're on. I mean, we could, in theory, give the person exactly what they asked for, which is, where is the Terminator? Um, okay, so we're at East 165 now, and we're not seeing a Terminator. Um, so let's, I think that I'm off by 180 somehow, but let's find out. No, 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 continue west. And again, are there better ways to do this? Of course there are. Okay. Okay, so the other point happened. I wish I'd written down the first one, 74 degrees. Um, so 74 and the number I forgot. Let's, let's just do this. Um, okay. So 165 and negative 10, and the actual numbers are, maybe I'll write them down this time. Uh, let's put this down here. Actual positions. I'll, I'll write this one down for sure, because I'm not stupid. Uh, East 74-ish. And then for the next one, we will just go... We will just go... Can we go west? No, that's ugly. Just go east. Uh, you know, in theory, I could go west very easily, but I just like to see the sun, which is weird, because I don't like the sun. Um. Ta da 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 here comes the sun, da 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 da. Here goes the sun, da 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 da. Sun coming down. Down, down, do be, do be, down, down. Okay. And that is at 71, minus 71 degrees, which kind of worries me because I thought that's what we had for the positive direction, too. Oh wow, minus seventy one ish, okay. Okay. Given by Prague. Not Prague the city in, in Czech the Czech Republic, but Prague the program. It is one sixty five. And minus ten. So can we make sense out of this? Alright. So in the, the, the version of the program gives the, the two numbers are 175 degrees apart. Um, this is 145 degrees apart. That's not great. Um, so to get from 74 to 165, we have to add like, oh, not 180. Yeah, we, we, we might be having some issues here. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really seeing how we can fix these numbers to be anything like the numbers we're actually getting. Which is a problem. Um... So unless I've done something really stupid, which which is always a possibility. Um, these numbers are being weird. Uh, so 165 and minus 10. Um, I guess we could go look there and see what the actual elevations are at 165 and 10. So let's do that. Um... I guess the other thing that probably should bother me is that I'm not necessarily seeing uh, numbers between 0 and 360 like I would expect to. Okay. So here the altitude is 72 degrees. I mean, the, the few meters above sea level isn't going to hurt it. Uh, and the other place, which is minus 10, which I would interpret to be 10 degrees west longitude, which is perhaps a mistake.
I think the problem here is I'm not, I can't, I'm trying to change degrees without, yeah, I need to just change this part here without touching the little degree symbol. Or it's just going to ignore me. Okay, and here the sun is 30 degrees below the horizon. So, yeah, not not seeing what's going on here. Um, so, let's see. I think IAU Earth is the correct reference frame for Earth. Um, we're looking at the Earth from the center of the Earth in that frame. Um, I'm kind of curious what this line actually traces out. I mean, um, in theory, we could have a new plot. Hang on one second here. Okay, so this should give me and what do I call it? GNU dot text. Plot temp GNU dot text. Let's just see what the hell that does. Interesting. I mean, that looks like the curve looks essentially correct. Um, except I really shouldn't have a value at minus 80. But this is the kind of curve we would expect to see. Uh, actually, no, it's not. Huh. Uh, we would expect the curve to flatten out a lot below here. And and be totally dead, so it, it should be kind of the other way, I think, actually. So that's not cool, unless they're using the um, 90 minus the colat bullshit. Um, okay, that was just weird. Okay. Well, let me do it for today, then, instead of for this uh, time that we chose. Um... But I get the feeling we are, we are, we're having issues that are more serious than uh, these minor issues. Um, okay, and of course, eventually we're going to get these as parameters. But for right now, we're going to re recompile every time. Um, Okay, let's see what this does. Did I put them in temp term? Oh, did I actually put them anywhere? Hang on. There, now I can do the pearl little magic there. And then I can go to the new plot. Okay, that I think I just did something wrong there. Um, Oh wait, why am I plotting temp new dot text? Oh, because that's where I put it. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I think maybe I screwed that up somehow. Yeah, I know graphs. Isn't it amazing? Unfortunately, um, I that I'm gonna end the stream right now. I'm really sorry, Natalo. Thank you for watching. Um, I am gonna end the stream now. I I might be back later today, but at this point. Uh, I'm feeling a little bit stuck and would like a little bit of time to maybe... I, well, I just gonna need to get food too. I'm starving. I get hungry. Um, <laughs> we, <laughs> you, can <laughs> you can ping me on Discord or something. Um, that's true. That is true. There is a lot of streamers out there. So thank you for watching the stream, everyone, and Natalo, and everybody else. Uh, bye for now, and I may be back later.